When the Great Grey Ships Come In by Guy Wetmore Carroll Read for LibriVox.org by Arrowit To eastward ringing, to westward winging, o'er mapless miles of sea, on winds and tides the gospel rides that the furthermost isles are free, and the furthermost isles make answer, harbor and height and hill. Breaker and beach cry each to each, tis the mother who calls, be still, mother new-found beloved, and strong to hold from harm, stretching to these across the seas the shield of her sovereign arm, who summoned the guns of her sailor sons, who bade her navies roam, who calls again to the leagues of Maine, and who calls them this time home. And the great grey ships are silent, and the weary watchers rest, the black cloud dies in the august skies, and deep in the golden west, invisible hands are limbing a glory of crimson bars, and far above is the wonder of a myriad wakened stars. Peace! as the tidings silence a strenuous cannonade. Peace at last is the bugle blast, the length of the long blockade, and eyes of vigil weary are lit up with a glad release. From ship to ship and from lip to lip it is peace, thank God for peace. Ah, in the sweet hereafter, Columbia still shall show, the sons of these who swept the seas, how she bade them rise and go. How, when the stirring summons smote on her children's ear, south and north at the call stood forth, and the whole land answered here, for the soul of the soldier's story, and the heart of the sailor's song, are all of those who meet their foes, as right as should meet with wrong, who fight their guns till the foeman runs, and then on the decks they trod, brave faces raise, and give the praise to the grace of their country's God. Yes, it is good to battle, and good to be strong and free, to carry the hearts of a people to the uttermost ends of sea, to see the day steal up the bay where the enemy lies in wait, to run your ship to the harbor's lip, and sink her across the strait, but better the golden evening, when the ship's round heads for home, and the long gray miles slip swiftly past in a swirl of seething foam, and the people wait at the heaven's gate to greet the men who win. Thank God for peace, thank God for peace, when the great gray ships come in. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.